It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back for another exploit video for Hearts of Iron 4. It is a way to exploit fielded manpower as Germany. Well, this also does apply for some other countries as well. There are a few countries in Death and Dishonor that only allow you to do national focuses if you have a fielded amount of manpower. Let me just explain this. So if you go into army, you go into equipment details, it basically says how much manpower you have in the field. In this case, 269,000. And to follow through with your national focuses, you need to be able to have a prerequisite requirement of manpower in the field to continue these national focuses. In this case, Ausschluss requires 550,000 manpower. So we can't do that until we get enough. Guys, if you like exploit videos, feel free to like this video. That tells me you want more of that content. If you got any ideas for exploit videos or other cheeky little things, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well. So how do you do this? So first of all, we need to change all of these divisions to the smallest ones possible. We'll go ahead and do Rhineland to begin with. We'll select all of our divisions and bring them to Yaw. And draw a front line here. Change them to... Runstead. And we're going to convert all the divisions to the smallest template that we have. In this case, it's the horse division. The reason we do that is because it saves a lot of the equipment. Because these divisions, the smaller ones, require a lot less gear. So in this case, let's do that. So let's change them all to horses. Boom. Lots of horse. So as you, what you'll notice is the manpower now will drop. So now we have a smaller overall army. But we have a lot more equipment. So what we do is we train a lot more horses. A lot of you guys are probably watching this and thinking, oh, I think I know where this is going. I have an idea where it's going here. There would be a way of doing this that's going to look a lot more poetic and a little bit more constructed. I'm doing a rough method here to show you guys how it's done. Um, yeah, so here we go. So first of all, step one, convert all your divisions to really small ones. Two, train lots of small, tiny divisions. We can make some refineries, why not? Lots of refineries. We're going to do the Rhineland and go from there. It's good. So as you can see, we are trading the divisions here. You need to set a location for them to spawn. Uh, we'll set where they're going to rally them, stick them here. Deploy them early. It doesn't matter if they're deployed early or not. So the result of this is you do get an increased manpower pool overall, but it's not enough to go for Ausschluss. No, it's not. It's not. Go here. We deploy them nice and early as well. Make sure we train in just enough so we can deploy them. Remy need 20% train to be able to deploy them early. So you can't do that until then. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Go here, deploy them early. Loads of divisions. So, okay, so we have done at the Rhineland now. So now we have the option to go for Ausschluss if we had enough manpower in the field. But we do not. So, how do we do this? So, it is a matter of changing your divisions, the smallest ones you've got, to the largest one you've got. And the largest one you've got is the SS division, which has uh, 119,000 manpower. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, Dave, if I change this division... It means that I haven't got enough equipment to supply my full army. So therefore, I wouldn't use all the manpower, right? Wrong. So in this instance, I'm going to show you. I'm going to switch them to SS divisions. It shows you here what differences is going to make overall to the army size. 809,000. That's the maximum based upon all the divisions we've got. But these divisions are only strengthed up to 326,000. But as you see over time, we will train new divisions... Well, we won't train these divisions, but we'll train new troops to be added to these divisions. So even though we don't have the equipment required to fulfill the full strength of these divisions, we still do train the adequate manpower, and it does count towards manpower in the field. Now we're over 550,000. In this case, we can go for Ausschluss. That's right, guys. We're doing Ausschluss in 1936. March 1936. Totally historical, right? Train these extra divisions. Move them to the front line. Be aware if you have a requirement of manpower in divisions in the field, if you have a requirement like this, if you choose to drop your divisions down from, uh, let's say, motorized down to cavalry again, this will cancel mid-progress, so just be aware of that. So at this moment, I'm not going to change anything, but I will show you another little trick as we time goes on as well. Yeah, uh, get rid of you. Yeah, get rid of you. 
What we could do as well, and I thought about it, is we can train divisions quicker, couldn't we? There you go. Minus 10% training drill time. Less drill. So we're going to wait for this focus to complete. And then we're going to do another little, We'll do it again to churn out more manpower to get enough for the next focus, which is going to be Danzig or War. Danzig or War. Almost done. Oh my god, German marching music. I haven't heard it too many times. Here we go. Five more days. Uh, but uh, but uh. And what's awesome is we also get lots of free, lovely divisions. We're going to go for Eastern Claims so we can go for Danzig War. Oh, free divisions. Thank you so much. So now we're going to select our whole army and change them all back to cavalry again. And what's this? Oh, look. Field of manpower has dropped below. Well, in this case, it was 800,000, wasn't it? Now it's back to just under 400,000. I have a funny feeling I'm reading out a lot of numbers on this video, and I feel like I'm going to read out one of the numbers wrong. It's just part of a feedback gaming video, boys. It's part of the feedback gaming experience. So you got all the divisions now are little small ones. Oh, interesting. So now we have the ability to train more divisions because we've got excess equipment. So in this case, we are going to do that and train them and deploy them nice and early. Reassert Eastern Claims does not require total manpower in the field. If you notice, it's not one of the requirements. So you have the ability to change your field of manpower whilst doing this national focus. Gonna make sure this is high priority. Make sure all the equipment goes into training these divisions. Ignore the existing divisions. Deploy them early. Deploy them early. Deploy them early. Oh my god, we've got such a large army, haven't we? Or have we now? Huh. Eastern claims are almost done. So now we're going to switch out to a division that is going to be useful. So SS divisions. Oh, what's this? 1.3 million manpower in the field. Oh, can we do Danzig or war? Can we do Danzig or war? <gasps> no, we can't. Why is that? Because we haven't waited long enough to reinforce the army. But look, it is going up. <gasps> 7,000. 8,000. Can we do Danzig or War? When is it going to become available? And boom, we can do it. Done. Danzig or War, boys? That is the question. What are you guys on the front line? Oh, what's this? We're doing Danzig or War in 1936? What? What is this? Madness! So, I don't understand... One of the mechanics of this that I don't quite understand is... If your division doesn't have the equipment, why do you have the ability to train new manpower to go into the division? It seems kind of strange to me that. Because this is... I, I didn't understand how this mechanic worked. And I was confused when someone explained this mechanic to me. Because I thought to myself, like, well, if you haven't got the equipment, why would you train manpower to not have guns? Because this division, they're in this division right now, there is a lot of manpower, but not all of them are holding guns. I don't understand why or oh, there you go boys this would be very easy for paradox to patch by the way uh they just need to say that you need the manpower for the equipment wouldn't you and probably all of these focuses would require the manpower as well i guess uh what we can do is another oh i can show you guys another exploit as well before we go for danzig or war as well this is um this is uh, i guess this is debatable whether this is an exploit because you are technically using the in-game mechanics and it isn't as exploitative as some of the other things I've showed you as well but we'll have a look boom 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 Danzig or war so Danzig or war caused an event to fire which is this one Poland refuses to cede Danzig we'll put our planes here to help out but if you click this it will cause Germany to declare war but what if you don't click it what if you just put it over here yeah, no one will see that, right? So we'll convert our army now to something we can have full strength, which is going to be infantry. We've done our focus, so that's all good. I guess in this case, we could go for around the magia as well. In this case, boom, we're at full strength almost. We're building our planning bonus. Oh, we're all ready now, so we're ready to declare war. Let's go, boom, let's go, bam, bam. And we can we can choose to click this, declare war if you want, or you can just leave it sitting. Now, this won't stay here forever. Eventually, it's about two weeks, I think, maybe? Eventually, this will auto get clicked. The top one gets clicked automatically. You play EU4, you you know how that works. Around the Magia, what a great idea. And boom, we're at war. Way go for Danzig. And then we're going to go for Krakow. And then we go for Warsaw. Boom, GG, son. Le War. 
Indeed. God damn, so many divisions. So much destruction. Is this the end of Le Poland? Can we declare can we take out Poland before the end of 936? Yes we have. Boom, 936. And what's this? We're not at war with the rest of the Allies as well. What's going on? What's going on? And here we can go here. We can go around the Magiot line. Oh, what's this, boys? The exploits get even deeper. We will go one step deeper. Oh, this is guaranteed by France. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Put you guys here. Put you guys here. And then attack into Belgium. Can we not do that, please? Please, please. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. There we go, and declare war. Crush, kill, destroy. And France has joined the war. But they're not in the Allies. What does that mean, boys? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, we actually weren't able to break that. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? We're in a little bit of trouble holding that Magiot line, boys. Oh, we have done it, we've done it, we've done it. Go here, go here, go here. Alright, I actually think we can't break... <laughs> we can't break Bel We can't break Belgium. Belgium is just too strong. Just way too strong. I don't think... That th I think the problem is we're not reinforcing quick enough. Yeah, we're not reinforcing quick enough. I guess you just keep right-clicking in this instance. And eventually it'll break it. It's because the reinforce rate's not very high. Due to the fact that, um, yeah, the reinforce rate isn't very high because I've not researched radio. Radio is all you need, boys. Can we declare, can we take out France before the UK joins? Can that happen, boys? Can we do it? Yeah, they, every now and then, even though it's a lot of divisions stacked on top of each other here, we're actually not doing that much damage because we're not reinforcing quick enough. Oh, the Soviet Union's helping out France. Well, what do you know? Do 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 I'm I'm beyond the demonstration of the exploit here, guys. I'm just I'm just mafaffing around right now. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, remember to like and subscribe and drop us a comment and whatnot. Um, for the most part, I can't concentrate enough firepower into one place here to actually make a pushback because these divisions are all really undertrained and oversupplied and getting brutally and utterly fucked. But you demonstrate the point that I'm getting at. If you were to have some decent divisions at this point, you could plow through Belgium and France and take them out. This is just for demonstration purposes. Kill, kill, destroy. If you, it seems to be mass right clicking seems to work right well if you've not got radio research. So if you had radio research right now, which I could have done if you think about it, because in the meantime I've not been researching anything, so you could have researched radio here, and also guns and whatnot. Anyway guys, that's it, that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed, now you have a way to exploit and take over the world of Germany and not cause a world war, how brutal is that, how brutal. Guys, hope you have a good day, see you guys next time, bye bye.